What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another legend remade in FM22. We've covered a lot of players in this series already, the likes of R9 Ronaldo, Thierry Henry, uh, Kaka, all of those sorts of players and even done some legends of yesteryear who potentially didn't live up to the hype like Freddy Adu. But we've only ever done players. So today we're going to do a manager and in my opinion, you guys may disagree, but in my opinion, this is the best football manager ever. We're talking, of course, as I'm sure you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are talking about Sir Alex Ferguson. Now, what I've done is I have recreated Sir Alex uh, back at the start of his career. Now, I will say to all you Scottish football fans out there, I haven't been able to put him at East Stirlingshire. I didn't want to add in a custom database alongside adding Sir Alex back into the game. So what I've unfortunately done is I've plopped him in at St Mirren, which was the second club he was in charge of as manager now we all know his story the journey to Aberdeen and then on to Manchester United and we all know how successful Sir Alex was in terms of being a manager so what would happen if we did it a little bit differently we put him back in FM 22 we put him at St Mirren just to see what he could achieve this time around and obviously as we all know in real world football clubs are a lot more ruthless than they used to be so will he stay at the same club? Will he go on to win as much silverware as he did in real life? We will only find out. But if you are new around here and you like the sound of this sort of content, then please do head down below the video, drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here because it really does help me out and it also really helps get this content out to as many people as humanly possible. So without any further ado, let's jump in and let's talk Sir Alex. So what I've done guys is I have simulated uh, 40, years of Sir Alex Ferguson's career as you can see he is back here as St Mirren manager Scottish you know he's got a nice little reputation he's on 5k a week um but the main thing you will be able to see is that he has some very incredible attributes he's got a model citizen personality I've left all of his traits um unmarked because I kind of wanted to see if any did develop over time um but basically I've taken his attributes here from the mad scientist o2 uh, 0102 retro database um you can go and check that out it is a brilliant database i used it in the uh january version of the fm playoffs as well very very nice but i took his attributes from there so you guys can kind of see uh but as a manager he is brilliant yeah okay his coaching isn't as good and as elite as the rest of it but his mental attributes alongside his knowledge are next level the model citizen personality is is kind of what it is um the route one tactical style now some people are going to argue about this but i thought sir alex played quite direct it wasn't a ticky tacker or anything like that so i thought route one was probably the right sort of um description for that uh, and obviously the preferred formation was that 4-4-2 uh, what he absolutely patented at Manchester United um, with the with the sort of wide play and stuff like that so um, this is Sir Alex at St Mirren he is the manager of St Mirren they are obviously of course in the Scottish Premiership um, so I'm very intrigued to see how he does here obviously we have the Celtic dominance up until last season where Sir uh, Stephen Gerrard's Rangers won the title um, so I'm very intrigued to see one if he can win a title in Scotland and two to see if he makes that jump down to England uh, and takes over a Premier League job or if he ends up somewhere else in Europe and has that success as I said we've simulated 40 seasons so we're going to jump in in 10 year increments let's jump back in in 2031 to see how Sir Alex's first 10 years as a manager got on so 10 years down the line and we have Alex Ferguson he is now the manager of Southampton so he has made that move into the Premier League and if we have a look at his job history and we go into his job tab he was the manager of St Mirren as you can see but he did jump over he was offered the manager's job at Rangers so he left St Mirren for Rangers um and then has uh, changed. He's left uh, left Rangers, sorry, uh, as he was offered the manager's role at Bournemouth. From Bournemouth, he's then been offered the manager's role at Schalke, um, and then was hired as a manager of Schalke. And then he was offered the Southampton manager's job, and is now managing it again in the Premier League. I assume. I assume Southampton are in the Premier League. They're not. They are in the Championship. Sir Alex Ferguson managing in the Championship, and they've just been promoted. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, so let's go into his competitions and take a look and see what trophy Sir Alex has won. So during his time in St Mirren, uh, let's see what happened here. They finished third in the Scottish Premiership inside that first season and they were knocked out in the Europa League playoff by Shakhtar. 
the following year, which is not great. Uh, moving things on, finished eighth in the Scottish Premiership. Again, not fantastic. Uh, Scottish Cup runners up, uh, just out of curiosity. So that was in 2024. So who won that one? Oh, so we, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, have I missed a Scottish Cup that he's won with St Mirren? Scottish Cup winners. Okay, so they were runners-up in 2024, winners in 2025 of the Scottish Cup, finishing fourth in the Premiership as well. So he's won some trophies, uh, won some silverware up in Scotland, and then obviously he joins Rangers, uh, which he wins the Scottish Cup again, League and Cup double in the 2025-2026 season. So well done, Sir Alex. No, no surprises there. Guide and Rangers to some success. But obviously, it's not quite Aberdeen. He did on his uh, real-life journey. Uh, and let's see how he's got on in some of these other ones. Uh, another back-to-back -back, uh, Scottish Championship as well, which is nice to see. Moving things on. Uh, failed to qualify from the Champions League, but they are in the Champions League. Premier Sports Cup winners as well. Scottish Cup runners-up. Back-to-back-to-back. Three in a row. Uh, Scottish uh, Championships, which is very impressive. Uh, and then we move on. And then he leaves to go to Bournemouth, who finished in 18th and were relegated. So when did he join Bournemouth? Joined Bournemouth 24th of the 2nd, 2029. And that season, he was unable to save Bournemouth. They were relegated from the Premier League, which is crazy. Then he joined Schalke, managed to get them into the uh, 10th position in that Bundesliga. And that is all he's achieved in terms of his notable competitions thus far. In terms of his awards, he's obviously picked up quite a lot whilst he's been at Rangers, Scottish Managers of the Year, uh, Writers Manager of the Year, etc, etc. And obviously, as you can tell, uh, doing pretty, pretty well. His attributes still look very, very good, but he is now at Southampton. They have just been promoted back into the Premier League, so it's always going to be interesting to see how he gets on. As you can see here, he's had five manager uh, manager club jobs um, and he's uh, achieved 33 awards. In terms of all of his career stats, though, guys, he is currently operating in that first 10 years at a 54% win ratio, which is interesting he's won three cups three leagues and he's had one relegation so that's that's great i assume the promotion with southampton isn't showing on his record just yet but i'm sure it will highest fee 45 million uh angelo um who has been sold here uh let me change can i change this to career stats i can uh, so he sold him from bournemouth to manchester united interesting interesting that he's sold uh sold a player to uh one of his in my opinion, former clubs, obviously, in this particular instance, he hasn't been a Manchester United manager. And the highest fee paid was for Aaron Connolly, which I assume was uh, which he paid at Rangers. OK, interesting first 10 years for Sir Alex. The relegation, not what I was expecting, especially given his calibre as a manager. But if we go back onto his profile, he now has a very good reputation. So this may lead to some bigger jobs and bigger clubs coming in for him. Let's see what happens in the next 10 years. So it's 2041 and we are back and we are with Alex Ferguson, the manager of West Ham United. But I can see out the corner of my eye in his history tab, he has bounced around a little bit more and had a few different jobs. As you can see here, he was Southampton manager. It looks like he's left and become Dortmund manager, going on to Leeds and now joining West Ham. So if we go into his milestones and we take a look at his jobs again, we last left him whilst he was at Southampton. As you can see here, hired Southampton manager. They got promoted this that and the other then he was offered the Dortmund job left Southampton to join Dortmund uh, and then was sacked oh he's had a sack in he was sacked as the manager of Dortmund in 2036 um, and it took him over almost a year sorry until he was hired as manager of Leeds United Leeds hired him in 2037 the following year he was hired the job uh, hired for the job at West Ham where he now resides in terms of his competitions then Let's go and see what happened. So we were here with him towards this sort of area. Um, one in the Carabao Cup semi-final. So he won a Carabao Cup whilst at uh, Southampton. So again, another trophy to tick off for Sir Alex. Very, very good. Runners up in the FA Cup as well, but relegated. He's been relegated twice in 20 years out of the Premier League as Sir Alex. That is, that is ridiculous. Emirates FA Cup runners up. So I assume... By winning the Carabao Cup, they're in the conference, Europa Conference League, 
which is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, let's see what else he's managed to do. Promoted uh, out of the Skybet Championship as champions in the 2033 season. So it's no real surprise. Sir Alex being in the, in the championship, you'd like to think that he would get straight out. So 2033 season, that is this... Nope, that is this one. So 111 points for Sir Alex's Southampton side. Only one loss all season away at Cambridge, who are in the championship for some some strange reason. Okay, so he's obviously done pretty well at Southampton, winning a couple of trophies. Europa Conference League winners as well at Southampton, uh, as they <laughs> they won it from the championship. I'm ju I just need a second to let that sink in. He was the manager of Southampton. They got relegated. He wins the championship and he also wins the Europa Conference League. What? That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Let's see what else he's done. Because uh, it seems like he's gone on an absolute tear. Europa League runners up in 2034 whilst they finished 10th inside the Premier League as well. Obviously, they got the Europa League spot for winning the Europa Conference League the season prior. Um which obviously prompted Dortmund to have a look at him. Finished fifth in the Bundesliga. Not the best result there, uh, but obviously this was his first season in charge. Obviously, it looks like he's taken over sort of in and around Christmas, that like January sort of window. The following season not gone very well for him, and obviously this is where he was sacked by Dortmund, and then he became Leeds manager, guided, to them, guided them to a 14th place finish in the Premier League before jumping ship to West Ham, guided them to a 16th place finish in the Prem uh, and moving things on up to 13th the following season, and it looks like he's been progressing ever since. There's a 14th in there, and in the most recent season, he has finished in Eighth. Wow. Okay, so if we go into his milestones and go into his overview then, this is kind of where Sir Alex is looking right about now. His overall stats then, at West Ham, he's got a 35% win ratio, which is not great whatsoever. And is in his entire career, he's now up to 50%. He has won five trophies, four leagues, one promotion, but he has been relegated twice, which is just something to bear in mind. I'm not throw in any shade is just something to bear in mind um at the end of the day this is all about fun this is all an experiment and this is what we're here to see um he has in terms of transfer value though eclipsed the 1 billion mark which is crazy um he sold 100 116 players and bought 112 and transfer value for the players that he's bought is almost a billion as well so he's now the manager of west ham in the premier league let's see what happens over the next 10 years will he still be a West Ham manager. You couldn't write this, guys. Sir Alex Ferguson, or in this case, Alex Ferguson, he's not been knighted yet, now finds himself back at Southampton. Now, he's dotted around a lot. As you can see in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, we were last here when he was West Ham manager. Since he's then been West Ham manager, he's joined Napoli, he's joined Burnley, Lazio, West Ham again, Arsenal, Real Sociedad, my team, Bristol City, and he is now back at Southampton. So his job history has dotted around a lot one thing i will say is motivating has now gone down to a 12 that is something that i have noticed i don't understand why that's happened his tactical style has now gone on to control possession and he's also fully accomplished to be a director of football so let's go into his overview uh, sorry let's go into his milestones and have a look at his job history because obviously he was west ham manager and it doesn't look like he is uh, been West Ham manager for that much longer. Obviously, this is where we were last time. He was sacked as manager of West Ham, hired by Napoli, then offered the Burnley role. I don't understand why he's gone from Napoli to Burnley. Again, another another strange one. He's then been sacked as the manager of Burnley, hired as the manager of Lazio. Then he's gone back to West Ham, um, which is I, I just don't understand this career path. He's then been offered the Arsenal manager's job. Um, and then got sacked as the manager of Arsenal, moved on to Real Sociedad, then got offered the Bristol City manager's job. It seems like being in England is what he's trying to achieve and trying to achieve that level of success. But he's been sacked again. Matt sacked as the manager of Bristol City. That's no real surprise. We sacked managers left, right and centre. And then he's gone back to Southampton. Crazy. In terms of his achievements and what he's won then, uh, obviously I almost stopped at that West Ham one there. But in terms of at other clubs finished eighth in the Serie A with Napoli it's, it's not it's not great then he goes back to Burnley don't understand this move in the slightest for me then he goes to Lazio finished eighth in the Serie A again uh, no real uh, progress here knocked out in the semi-finals of the uh, Coppa Italia and knocked out in the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League this time by Everton 
and then we move on back to West Ham uh, where he seems to be relatively successful but probably not as successful as he was at Southampton finished 10th inside the Premier League uh, in that first season back got to the quarterfinals um, of the uh, what is that Carabao Cup and then looks like they got knocked out in the semis Carabao Cup winners no 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 I am wrong they won the Carabao Cup so Sir Alex has won the Carabao Cup at West Ham bringing a trophy to the Hammers uh, 11th place finish which of course means they go into the Europa Conference League um, how did they get on there we don't know because he's left and he's joined Arsenal at this point so they are runners up in the Carabao Cup finished 5th inside that Premier League uh, so that's his highest Premier League finish so far is 5th inside 30 years um, then we move on Premier League champions and he's done it at Arsenal who'd have thought eh? with that rivalry in the 2000s Arsenal Invincibles all of that coming up against Sir Alex's Manchester United in this remake he has won the Premier League title as Arsenal manager he's also won the Europa League looks like Arsenal have gone on a little bit of a tear here Community Shield UEFA Super Cup looks like he's done really really well at Arsenal maybe he was the final thing that Arsenal were missing but obviously we know it didn't end very well because he was sacked as manager of Arsenal he moves over to Spain Real Sociedad um runners up in the Copa, Super Copa de España um anything else of note finished third in La Liga it's not too shabby at all the following season finished third again uh, I'm just trying to see anything else. Friendly Cup, that doesn't really matter, does it? And then he goes to Bristol City Manager, uh, which he doesn't really do much there. Uh, and he's won the championship again with Southampton. 114 points this time around. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> You don't get um, you don't get many 114 point hauls in the championship, but he's won the championship again, which is it, it just baffles me that he spent any time at all in the championship. So all in all, on his career, he is at a 51% win ratio, and now back at Southampton, he's at a 60% win ratio, which is pretty good. He's amassed 10 cups, six leagues, one promotion, uh, which will be two promotions, obviously with Southampton, but we've not eclipsed the final day of this like year yet uh, and two relegations um all in all he's all he's almost spent 1.7 billion on transfers and almost recouped 1.73 billion on transfers again we will have a look at some of the players um that he does have towards the end because i'm very intrigued to see what happens but um games played as southampton manager five games played three wins let's see what happens over the final 10 years of this simulation i can't believe he won it with arsenal fair play <laughs> That's all I've got to say. Fair play. So, 40 years into this simulation and the remake of Sir Alex Ferguson, he is now the director of football at Tottenham. Having won the Premier League with, um, with Arsenal to go to Tottenham and he's been manager and he is now director of football. Don't forget, he is 71 in this particular simulation, guys. So, we are in the year 2061. But Sir Alex is here. He is the director of football at Spurs and he has been caretaker manager for a little bit as well. But it looks like he had a decent stint um, after, the, after we were last here, actually, at Tottenham at uh, 2051 all the way up to 2060 as manager. So, let's jump into his... Um, can I not see, can I see his yeah that's what I wanted to see his biography and his, his milestone sorry so in terms of his jobs we were here when he was back at Southampton um he's been offered the Spurs job and it looks like he's just stayed at Spurs since sacked as the manager of Tottenham hired as the caretaker manager and then removed as the caretaker manager so he's bouncing around that sort of boardroom level now in terms of his competitions he's been at Spurs a while so we're going to have a lot to go through there in terms of his time at Southampton that was where we were here last won the Skybet Championship uh, and got them back into the Premier League in terms of his time at Tottenham finished 11th in the Prem won the Europa Conference League so fair play there another trophy for for him to tick off and then he starts going and grinding things up finishing sixth in the premier league runners up in the fa cup winners of the europa league so he's he's definitely amassed some trophies this time um just not as many premier leagues as sir alex did in real life carabao cup runners up the following year finishing sixth inside that premier league and let's uh, move things forward. Then he goes up and finishes third in the Prem. So guarantees himself Champions League football uh, going into the 20, uh, what is that, 2055, 56 season. Uh, my brain is scrambled with all these years that we've got here. Finished sixth in the Premier League. Um, nothing else that is standing out. It's just like kind of minor victories in cup competitions and stuff like that. Finishing ninth in the Premier League. Uh, Fell to qualify from the World 
Oh, Club World Cup group. My bad. Club World Cup. I thought that said World Cup group. And I was going to say, what on earth has happened here? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, moving things on. Finishing ninth in the Premier League. Again, not really. Uh, I've seen Spurs managers get sacked for a lot less than this in FM. I don't know about you guys. Uh, seventh in the Premier League. And that's kind of where we leave him. So, Sir Alex, can I not have a look at his, like, all of his history. I guess it's because he's not a manager anymore. I can't look at his entire career stats. So that is the remake of Sir Alex Ferguson in FM22. We will go back to doing some players. I've got a couple of players in mind of some of the next ones that I'd like to do. I'd like to do Vincent Company. I'd like to do Jean-Luigi Buffon. I'd like to do Yaya Torre. But if there's anyone else that you guys would like to see me remake in FM22, a legend of the game, drop their name down in the comments. Uh, I will go through. I will read all of them. I will interact and if you want to see a different manager let me know i quite enjoy doing the manager simulations if i'm honest and seeing sir alex win the premier league with arsenal i think that deserves a like on the video down below and whilst you're there hit the subscribe button if you are new around here and ring that bell so you're told each and every time that we upload a video but until next time guys take care of yourselves take care of each other and i'll see you on another one very very soon